You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Kelly Swoop and these are your WMAR 2 News top stories. There's more movement to fully reopen the Port of Baltimore. A 400 foot wide, 50 foot deep channel is now open for commercial ships with a 24 seven access. The news comes about eight weeks after the Dolly cargo ship hit the key bridge, toppling it into the Patapsco River. Unified Command says the Army Corps of Engineers is still on schedule to have the full channel open by the end of the month. However, that won't be the end of the cleanup efforts. You can no longer see really any steel above the waterline uh, in the areas outside the federal channel. And they are going to continue to work on those sections of the spans that are just north of and south of the channel. And they estimate that they're going to be complete with that sometime in June. The Rear Admiral adds even with ship restrictions on, more than 500 vessels have come in and out of the Port of Baltimore since the collapse. Well, the Inner Harbor is officially swimmable. More than a decade after the Waterfront Partnership launched the Healthy Harbor Initiative, the water now meets Maryland's standard for swimming on dry weather days. To celebrate, the partnership is making a splash. You can be one of the first to plunge into the harbor on June 23rd in the Harbor Splash swimming event. We've got all the info how to sign up on our website. But right now, though, it's only recommended that you swim in the harbor during scheduled events like this Harbor Splash. One woman has worked her dream job now for half a century. <laughs> Teresa Marie Sparklin celebrated 50 years of helping patients at the University of Maryland, Baltimore Washington Medical Center. Sparklin, affectionately called Sparky by her co-workers, says she always dreamed of helping patients as a nurse. She started as a volunteer candy striper in 1973 when BWMC was still called North Arundel Hospital. A few years later, she finished nursing school, working at the hospital through it all. And after about a million patients later, she still loves what she does. If I can see patients every day, uh, it's well worth my time. I went into supervision for a couple years and it took me away from patients. I said, no, need to get back to patient care. Patients are what I come to work for. They like my hugs, they like my jokes. Corny jokes, but they like my jokes. <laughs> and even after Sparkland retires, she's not given up helping others. She plans to volunteer at hospitals wherever she can. We we'll keep our summer stretch going with temperatures near 90 the next couple of days. You add that much energy in the atmosphere, we're talking about storms and showers. That's mainly for late Wednesday and then into Thursday. Thursday's got the potential to be strong to even severe. We'll have to watch for damaging wind some uh, hail possible if the right ingredients come together. 84 by Friday and then staying active into the weekend. Memorial Day coming up on Monday. Some scattered thunder showers, temperatures near 80. Dry weather on Tuesday, partly cloudy skies. Readings in the upper 70s by then. Kelly. All right, thanks, Chris. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com all day. We'll bring you updates on top stories and breaking news. And for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMER2 News app in the App Store.